What is going on YouTube? Back with another video. West Brom versus Manchester United. It's a must-win fixture. Weird to be saying that West Brom is a must-win fixture, but it is a must-win fixture because they are in the bottom three in the Premier League. They have not won a game in the eight games they've played in the Premier League this season. And in the last six games, they've drawn three and lost three, including that freak result against Chelsea, which was a 3-3 draw, that 1-0 loss to, 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 to Spurs, which I have to say, from a West Brom perspective, must have been absolutely so, like, gut-wrenching and so crushing. So let's get into what I think of this game and what it means for Manchester United, as well as Ole Gunnar Solskjaer, who is the main talking point of this video. Um, and please uh, do leave a like on the video and do subscribe if you are new. Um, so yeah, this is obviously a massive game for Ole Gunnar Solskjaer and his men. It's an opportunity to not only pick up three points, but also pick up some confidence and some momentum going into the coming games. It's imperative that Ole Gunnar Solskjaer starts to figure out what his best team shape is and his primary players or selection rather for that particular shape. Like we cannot be all over the place over the next five to ten games is basically what I'm saying. We've played five different formations in the last three to four weeks. That cannot happen in the next four to five weeks. The reason why I'm very excited for this game and the reason why I think it is a very good opportunity from is not going to play fast, fluid attacking football. Um, not when they've failed to pick up a win in eight and they're playing against one of the traditional big six. I don't even know if we can refer to ourselves as that because we're, me we're mid-table mediocrity at the moment. But like, yeah, I think it's an opportunity for us to see how we play against a team that genuinely comes and sits back. Yes, Arsenal came at Old Trafford and sat back, but I think that game was a bit of an anomaly. I think Arsenal didn't play... I think Arsenal played all right. Arsenal played all right and we were crap. Let's, let's, let's call a spade what a spade is, right? So looking at this game, West Brom are not Arsenal. West Brom do not have the players that Arsenal have. West Brom cannot win this game on quality. They're going to have to win this game on grit. They're going to have to win this game on being well coached, well drilled, waiting for their opportunities, and then taking those, those few opportunities when they do come, assuming Manchester United do play well. Obviously, you'd expect us to play well against West Brom, right? It's an opportunity for us to see how we do against the lower teams. Ole Gunnar Solskjaer has not had trouble against teams that allow us to hit them on the break, teams that allow us to play on the counter-attack, teams that allow us to break quickly through transition, teams up high and leave space in behind. We have been okay against those teams. It is teams that play a low block or teams that put a lot of men behind the ball and basically park the bus. Or teams... I, I don't even know how to describe how West Brom plays. You know, they, they, they basically just park the bus. Those are the kinds of teams that we have struggled against and it is an opportunity for us to see how these players will play in that particular system. So yeah, moving away from the tactics, uh, the tactical side of it, because there's really no point in me trying to predict what Ole Gunnar Solskjaer is going to do. Um, he, could, he could do anything really. I think this is an opportunity to look at some of the team selection decisions that we've made uh, incorrectly in the last few weeks and this is a chance for us to change them this weekend. I think Donny van der Beek has to start. Donny van der Beek has to be a feature in this team. We have to find a way of putting Donny van der Beek into the team. We cannot play Fred and McTominay in a double pivot sitting and blocking the defence or protecting the defence rather, that's a better word. Um, the, the likes of Maguire and Lindelof have to, and I emphasize have to, be good enough against a team like West Brom. If they are not good enough to play with one CDM in front of them against a team like West Brom fam, then we should get rid of these players. Honestly, we desperately need a centre back more than I thought we did if we cannot play a more open formation against West Brom, you know. They're in, they're in bloody 18th fam, they haven't won a game this season. So I don't want to see defensive, a defensive formation sheet or a defensive team sheet. Um, personally, what I would go with in this game, obviously De Gea in goals, um, obviously Maguire, Lindelof. I'm not even going to waste my time saying Axel should start. I personally do think Axel should start, and I would start him next to Lindelof. But I'm not even going to waste my time going down that road. We know Maguire is going to start. We know Lindelof is going to start if he's fit. Tellis in the left back position, interesting to see him. Obviously, Luke Shaw's out with the hamstring injury, and we do not want to see Williams in the team. So it's null and void. Wambasaka in the right back, that's also a null and void uh, conversation. He basically picks himself. Midfield is where it gets a little bit interesting. I would like to see Bruno, Van der Beek, Fred, McTominay in a diamond. Pogba coming off the bench to 
perhaps later on in the game or vice versa Pogba could start and one of them comes off the bench whoever is in that team but I think Van der Beek has to start Bruno Fernandes is virtually undroppable at the moment um, so you know he's one of our most creative players of our best players so there's no point debating that Martial is back into the thick of things so I don't think I think we start Cavani that's probably controversial for some people but I don't I think Cavani option to come off if we need a goal later on in the game or we just need to close things out i think martial and rashford should start up front i would like to see mason greenwood come off the bench in this game i would like mason greenwood to get some minutes i think it's about time mason greenwood starts getting integrated back into the team i know is it issues off the field and that's why i think if we're like 2-0 up in the 60th minute bring mason greenwood on give him an opportunity to get back into his rhythm get back into his, his thing man get back into his element um give the youngster a chance to work his way back into the team but yeah that's that's the lineup i would go with i'm personally um i, I don't believe that's the lineup Ole Gunnar Solskjaer will go with i don't think he'll play with the diamond i think we'll probably see Juan Mata play i think we'll probably see Dan James play um, as depressing as that sounds and we'll probably see McTominay play now I don't mind McTominay I think McTominay is a fantastic role player and I think the, the, the role players in today's football are overlooked like you cannot win a title without good role players you cannot win anything without good role players you need good squad level players who can come in and do a job and are fine doing a job because they understand where they are in the pecking order and there's going to be no fiction or toxicity in the dressing room and I think that's what McTominay is at the moment he has the potential to be much more but that is a conversation for another video so yeah I, I just I don't know in terms of score predictions I'm going to go with a 3 one to win let's hope that this does not come back to bite me but I don't think it will we cannot lose to West Brom we cannot lose to West Brom who loses to West Brom 